The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to onboard an asset in MindSphere version 3. In this video, I will be onboarding a Siemens MindConnect Nano. The onboarding process consists of three basic steps, factory reset, firmware update, and asset creation and onboarding. To perform this procedure, you will need a USB flash drive that has been formatted to a FAT or FAT32 file system type. To factory reset the Nano, a file containing a factory reset command must be loaded onto a flash drive and inserted into the device. To create the file, open Notepad and paste this code snippet found in the description of the video. A link will also be available to a working version of this file. Replace MindConnect ID with a unique identifier of your Nano. This can be found on the label on top of the device. Save this file to the root of your flash drive as conbox underscore commands dot json. Be sure to check the file name as Notepad may have added a .txt extension to the file name. If so, rename the file to remove the .txt extension and eject the flash drive from your computer. Now, insert the flash drive into the USB port labeled X63 on the MindConnect Nano. Flashing lights will indicate that the factory reset is underway. This may take some time. Once the second LED turns solid orange, the procedure is complete. You may now remove the flash drive. Now we will apply the latest version of firmware to the Nano. To begin, we must download the latest version of firmware from the Siemens website. A link to this page is included in the description of this video. Note, you may need to log into your Siemens account to download this file. After the download has completed, locate the file and extract the contents to the flash drive. You should also delete the conbox commands.json file you created in the previous step. Once the firmware has been extracted to your flash drive, you may remove it from your computer. Once again, insert the flash drive into port x63 on the Nano. This process should take about one minute. The run LED will then turn orange, indicating that the Nano is not connected to MindSphere. You may now remove the flash drive. Now it's time to create the MindConnect Nano asset in Asset Manager and begin the onboarding process. Click on Create Asset and then select MindConnect Nano as the type. Give it a name and a location data if desired and click Save. Next, click on the MindConnect Nano button right here to begin configuration. Enter the unique ID found on the top of your Nano, then click Save. Now, click on the gear icon next to the onboarding status to configure the network settings. For the production interface, we want to specify a static IP address. We'll use an address of 192.168.214.23 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. The web interface will receive an address via DHCP and a proxy is not needed, so no other settings need to be changed. For the rest of this procedure, I'll use a different nano asset, as this one is located on my desk. To begin the onboarding process, a file must be downloaded from MindSphere and transferred to the nano. To download the file, click on the gear icon next to onboarding status and then select Download Onboarding Key. Go to your Downloads folder and copy the .cfg file to your flash drive. Be sure that the file name is exactly correct. It should be conbox underscore the unique ID of your nano underscore config.cfg. Delete any other files on the flash drive. You may now remove the flash drive from your computer. 
Now reinsert the flash drive into port X63 of the Nano and plug in the WAN cable. If you already have data sources configured, plug in the LAN cable as well to connect your configured assets to the Nano. The first two LEDs will turn green when a connection to MindSphere has been established. The Nano is now onboarded and ready to begin data collection.